from one of my last videos, you might have seen I'm a massive advocate of barefoot shoes and all of the benefits they bring. I wouldn't consider myself a purist, but I'm definitely part of that cult and that barefoot lifestyle. So why then have I gone from running in my barefoot shoes, in particular, my Vivo barefoot shoes, to running in these that I'm wearing right now, my super cushioned ultra running shoes? For context, I wouldn't consider myself a natural born runner. I think my genetics pretty much suck for that. And combining that with the fact that the last 10 years or so, I've been focused on weight-based training and strength-based training because I've always been skinny and hated the way I looked and I wanted to build some muscle mass and just feel a bit better in myself and gain some weight. All of my training has been focused towards that end of the spectrum, which is the complete opposite to endurance-based stuff like running. To the point where I was pretty scared to do any cardio whatsoever. Uh, if I did cardio, it would take away from my gains. Let me know if you can relate to that at all. I've since found out that's complete BS. But basically, poor genetics and having focus for 10 years on the other end of the spectrum has left me feeling not very great when it comes to running. But I wanted some new challenges. After nearly 10 years of just weight training and kind of getting to the point where I was happy with my physique, I gained some muscle and gained some strength. I wanted to do something new and I knew cardiovascular type exercise was great for health. So I did what any normal person would do and I signed up for an ultra marathon not having done any running before. Now I'd already gone down the route of using barefoot shoes for all of my training, my weight based training, just for that nice stable foot plant on the ground, having the metatarsals being able to spread and being able to transfer force directly into the floor without having any kind of cushioning in the way that was gonna be a little bit more unstable. But I then decided that I wanted to do all of my running as well in barefoot shoes to try and get my feet as strong as possible and not have them as any sort of weakness and build up all of my lower limb strength as well. Oh, as man. like an interval type session. We'll, we'll cut things there. That's it, two minutes is, is plenty. And actually I went from not being a runner at all whatsoever to running in barefoot shoes. And I built up to running a really hilly, muddy trail run that was 22 miles in distance in my Vivo barefoot shoes. But since then I've taken on a few other challenges in the form of cycling and sportives and triathlons. Trying to just find out stuff that I suck at and see if I can get better at it and become overall much fitter and much healthier by doing various different disciplines. Not being great at any of them, but just trying to be good at everything fitness really. Now, whilst my feet definitely did get stronger doing all of the running in barefoot shoes and my form probably massively improved. I'm much more of a four foot striker than a heel striker now, which massively helps. And my stride has become a bit shorter to keep my feet under my hip, which helps with efficiency and avoiding such high impacts. I never really got any faster. I just had this one kind of set speed that I could do. But I desperately wanted to become a faster runner because now doing these shorter distance events, the running was kind of letting me down and compared to other people and relatively my running just kind of sucked. But whenever I tried to up the mileage and up the volume to do this, I found that I got kind of shin splints. So I went back to the drawing board and I decided to do some research on this and look at ways that maybe I could become a faster runner. Now, one thing that I saw in common across the board with really fast runners or just people that were faster than me is that they were running in cushioned running shoes. Not many of them or none of them even were running in barefoot shoes like I was. If you're trying to upgrade your skill set in anything, you're trying to learn something new or become faster or better at something, whether it's academia, swimming, cycling, whatever it is, I think it's always a good idea to seek out the person that's better than you or have a look and kind of analyze those top performers at that certain thing that you're trying to achieve. How do I use one of them then? Seriously? You didn't yes. have to use one of these? <laughs> yeah. I'm nine years old. I thought you were an expert at this. I am, but how could I work on something that you can't? And then try and learn from them and take things from them that you can kind of implement yourself to become better at that thing. But I definitely didn't want my feet to go back to how they were before I wore barefoot shoes 
and I didn't want them to become weaker or have to fit into narrow toe boxes and become cramped. So I did some research on what shoes might be best, maybe some wider fitting shoes, maybe ones that had a zero drop. And eventually I came across these bad boys. This is Ultra and these are in particular the Ultra Torrens. And what I found was these were zero drop. So there's no drop from the heel to the forefoot, much like barefoot shoes. So you get all of that kind of benefits in terms of keeping your posture nice and natural. And also they've got a nice wide toe box and they've got a natural foot shaped shoe, much like barefoot shoes are. So the only difference to them is the fact that they've got cushioning. So there's much more stack height and there's foam there that's gonna cushion some of the impact. And hopefully that's gonna be a little bit more responsive and allow me to go a little bit quicker which is exactly what they've done for me. It allows me to build up my mileage more, which helps me work my cardiovascular system more so, so I can become a faster runner without being limited by niggly kind of aches and pains. Now, does that mean I'm never gonna wear barefoot shoes again and I'm never gonna use them for running at all? Absolutely not. I still love my barefoot shoes for all of my conditioning work, all of my weight training day to day, and also short runs, I still occasionally use the barefoot shoes and to be honest in the long run i think it would be better if i was doing all of my running in barefoot shoes and i was just slowly building up my foot strength and my lower limb strength to be able to tolerate the higher demand now i'm interested to know what are you training for at the minute if you're training for anything in particular do you use running shoes do you use barefoot shoes do you use a mixture let me know in the comments below so for me it's not that you've got to go barefoot or you've got to have cushioned running shoes it's about picking what's best for that moment or for your goal and what physiological outcome you want to achieve. But for the moment, me wanting to get faster, I'm gonna go for running in the cushion shoes and do everything else in the barefoot shoes. And hopefully I'll see you in another video.